Thanks, Connor. The state of Iowa first released its blackout license plates back in 2019. In the last five years, they've become a hit among drivers, accounting for about 12% of the state's total plates. But they aren't the only option the DOT provides to car owners. Next to blackout plates, college plates are the most popular specialty plate in the state. In eastern Iowa, you're pretty likely to see University of Iowa themed plates. They're the most popular college plate with around 27,000 in circulation. Iowa State is in third with more than 19,000 plates issued. Anyone who wants a themed plate will have to pay at least $35 plus an annual $10 fee. To personalize the letters and numbers on it, that'll bring the price up to $60 with a $15 annual fee. I don't have one of these specialty plates, but I like to see what people come up with. Yeah, I remember how excited everyone was back a few years ago when they came out with the blackout plates. Yeah, the black ones do look really sleek, I have to admit. Yeah. It does kind of make me want to get the original blackout plate, though, which people were really buying up the Dort College license plates because they were black oh, okay. and white. And so that's what actually inspired the state to turn toward the, <laughs> the blackout plates. They do look nice on certain colors. It doesn't work for every car, I think, mm -hmm. but right. depends on your body color. Uh, I don't know. I've never been able to come up with a clever idea for one of those plates. I know. So. I can't commit to one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it does feel like a big commitment once you get it on there and mm -hmm. you're driving around with it. So <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> uh, if you're driving around the